After 30 years of fighting the machines, humans have barely escaped extinction. Every year, Skynet unleashes new war machines against us, each one designed for a single purpose, to wipe us out. Every year, we continue to defy it by fighting back and striving to live another day. Some look on me as a messiah, John Connor, the warrior prophet come to lead humanity to victory. If they only knew what I knew. In less than a week, Skynet will activate its latest invention, a time machine. It will send an infiltrator back to 1984 to kill my mother. Skynet hopes Sarah Connor's death will prevent my birth and rewrite history so I'll never lead the human resistance against the machine's rule. What Skynet doesn't know is that I'm ready to counter its plan. My techcom forces are assembling to attack its home base at NORAD, buried deep within Cheyenne Mountain, Colorado. If we strike with speed and strength, we'll destroy the facility before our enemy has a chance to assault our past in order to attack our future. If we're too late to stop Skynet, I have a backup plan. A man named Kyle Reese. out there, General Connor. We'll get you back into the fight, Captain Perry. But first, you should see what Haven sent us. Skynet's newest infiltration unit exactly mimics a human's appearance. These images were recovered from the security system at Oregon Base. You can see that the forward guards are unaware that the infiltrator has slipped past them and is already positioned deep inside their facility. At that point, it begins systematically killing everyone in its path. Double security. We can't afford a major breach this close to our Colorado offensive. Yeah. That'll help. Reese, what's with Stone's attitude? He never got over losing his older brother Gabriel. None of us did. Leaving wounded soldiers behind is against our nature, but we could see that Skynet was prepared to ambush our extraction teams. Everyone understands that the needs of the living outweigh the needs of the dying. Everybody but Stone. He's just been blinded by grief. Grief is a fool's game. Stone better not let his emotions compromise this mission.
Yeah. I pegged the T-800. Looks like the same model that hit Oregon. We gotta get the General to the evac point. What about the battle plans? We can't let Skynet get them. Check. Shoot out the mainframe so they start smoking. I'm going topside to round up the troops and do a damage assessment. Take point, Reese. We need to get out of here before Skynet brings in the heavy guns. Roger that, General Connor. You think the infiltrator was the start of a full-on assault? No doubt. The fight has migrated this way. It's above us now and will descend on us in a matter of minutes. Looks like it's blocked, Reese. Incoming! Set up a biofilter to pin us in. Advanced tactics. Normally we only see that kind of hardware in their internment camps and heavy bases. Skynet must have planned this attack well. This was just an advance force. There are more coming. We're near the forward guard post. I'll go on to see if I can help secure the front doors. That's where those endos must have come through. Come. 
clean this place out. Hold up a second, Reese. I'm getting a message over Com. What's up? Our troops in the lobby say they're getting hit pretty hard. Power is out. It's dark. They can't see anything. Endos can see in the dark. They're getting routed. There's a power room ahead. Let's kick the generator back on. Get the power on. We gotta keep moving. Let's go! Coming. Outstanding, Reese. Thanks, sir. To be honest, there were a couple of times I thought we weren't going to make it. Skynet must really want this position. It's throwing everything in the sector at us. This has always been a secure base. How did it know we were here? Someone gave away our location. Hard to believe. Who'd give us up to the machines? Someone very desperate or someone very angry. I need to find the answer before we push into Colorado. Cover me.
on it. You find cover. Reese! You okay? Yeah. Nasty surprise. But I'll shake it off. Find another route up here while I get a battle up here. Here they come! Incoming! Sorry things didn't go as planned, General, but we got here as soon as possible. Perry, this base is crawling with Indos. We're abandoning it. Go back through and scorch it. We don't want to leave anything behind for Skynet. Affirmative. I'll hook up with a firebug and we'll bury the place. Roger that. I'll stick here to cover you. Harry, we got a call for help from the hotel restaurant. Can it wait? I'm trying to help this demo freak get the place wired. See, si, pero Skynet is pumping in more forces. You've got to get those guys out or they're dead. What are their options? You, Barry. Okay. I'll go get them.
spot. Watch out! Connor, one of our squads reports Endos at the old Fed Reserve building with no, repeat, no visible combat. That's odd. Where there's Endos, there's combat. They must want something besides us. Unida, try this on for size. Our guy saw Alexander Stone go in there. Stone? Why would he be there? Don't know, but he's taken copies of my battle plans. Only one way to find out what he's up to. What's that? The hard way. Hang on, it's gonna be a rough ride. If you gotta flash the hash, do it over the side. Am I glad to see you, Captain Perry? I got separated from my unit in the rush. If you yelled any louder, you wouldn't need a radio. What have you got to report? I was ready to bug out when I saw a bunch of fakies enter this building. Couldn't tell what they were doing. This isn't a strategic position. Odd seeing Indos out of combat. Saw Stone go in there. Didn't come out. Probably a splat job by now. The last time I saw him was back at Connor's briefing. Any indication of what he's up to? Nope. Where's the rest of your unit? They're where they're supposed to be, Trooper. Same as you should be. No offense, sir, but that doesn't make me feel real good. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to kill Indos. Get back to your squad before they mark you MIA. I'll take care of this. Whoa! Something really odd just happened, General. There was a big flash, and Endos appeared out of nowhere. I knew it was coming. Skynet has figured out teleportation. A few troops at a time I can deal with, but too much more and it's all over. Time is the enemy, Perry. Move on. General, I've just found Alexander Stone's wrist computer. No sign of him, though. Doesn't look like there was a struggle. Check the data files, Perry. Did he download my battle plans from the base mainframes? Hard to say, General. I can't recover the directory entries. Hmm. What about the system logs? Just checking. The most recent entries show encrypted files were sent somewhere. I don't recognize the frequency address, and the transmission protocol is crazy. He threw his computer away because he no longer needs it. He delivered his data to someone. Find Stone and bring him to me, Perry. That infiltrator was supposed to kill you, Perry. So you knew about it ahead of time, huh, Stone? When did you sell out the human race? Ever look at an endo up close? I mean really, really close. Yeah. I study him day and night for one purpose. To kill him. You call yourself educated, but you don't really understand the machines, do you? Do you even know why they're here? Why did you sell us out? Why did Connor sell out my brother? He had no choice! It was either a handful of men dying or a whole battalion. Now drag your sorry butt back out of here, Stone. You've been trained to take orders. Not anymore, Perry. I'm following a higher authority. General Connor is the higher authority. No! Gabriel is. Always was, always will be. 
Your brother's dead, Alex. Not anymore. In fact, he's never been more alive. Good luck, Captain. Heads up. There's some unusual Indo activity here. Elaborate. Skynet sent a bunch of Indos into the Federal Reserve to salvage all the Platinum. Say again? Platinum, General. As much as they can carry. But they're leaving the gold and silver behind. Wealth is meaningless to Skynet. It must have some other use for the Platinum. And more bad news. I saw Stone. He's turned traitor and sold us out to Skynet. Makes sense. They knew how to locate our L.A. headquarters. He's shell-shocked. He said he's getting orders from his brother, Gabriel. Taking orders from a dead man? Not a good sign of mental health. Maybe Gabriel is alive. Maybe Skynet found him and brainwashed him. We never did recover a body. Forget about Stone for now. I need you to shut down Skynet's operation. You're tough, Perry, but even you can't survive these marvelous machines. and my brother will kill you soon. Skynet has set up a foundry and is melting the bars for transport. What is their vehicle? Don't know. But it's got to be huge. Each of those blocks must weigh a ton or more. I don't know what they're up to, but I know it can't be good. Wreck the foundry and blast the loaders.
The last units are on their way to the Colorado Rendezvous. Outstanding. We regrouped days faster than I anticipated. We still have a good chance of turning this around, but we can't afford to lose any more time. If Stone swiped your battle plan, we're heading into an ambush. It's not an ambush. It's a rendezvous with fate. More specifically, your rendezvous with fate. Mine? If you haven't figured it out, there's a good shot they haven't either. General, Colonel Jackson says his side check group has failed to report in. We need to re-establish contact. Without them, we can't hack the mainframe defenses in Colorado. I can get us to their last known position, but it's gonna be hot. It's crawling with Skynet. We've got another stone sighting in the area, too. You wanna handle that, Reese? No. Reese has to... Has to what? Never mind. Take everything you'll need. We won't be coming back. insertion points and we'll evacuate them. Got it. Please help me! Skynet's doing to those humans? No, sir. Let me know when you've got something. Reese here. I found some sort of document cache. Report, soldier. Well, this one looks like some sort of quota. X number of live bodies to be delivered to designated collection points on various dates. What else? Doesn't look good. They've got numbers here tracking refugee migrations, along with the names of agents who've infiltrated the various groups. This is bad. Yeah, it gets worse. The orders are signed by Stone. Alex Stone, that two-faced... No, Gabriel Stone. But he's dead. No, he's not. Not unless this outfit is being run by a ghost. So, Perry was right. Find them, Reese. They're a very dangerous combination. General Connor, sir, I've got something important. What's that, soldier? Blueprints, floor plans, it looks like schematics for the entire layout of the Skynet facility in Colorado. Outstanding, Reese. You've hit the mother log. Uh, can't upload the data because of the jamming. I'll put it on a disk and either bring it to you in person or broadcast it when I get clear. Can you get back out the way you came? No, sir, too many bogeys. I'll press forward and up. Must be some of the way out of here. Okay, but the moment you're in the clear, upload the data. You're not expendable, soldier, but neither is that intel. Understood, sir. Canisters here. 
I don't like the look of them. Tell me what you see. They're labeled GB followed by CH3 and a bunch of stuff in parentheses. Nervous. That stuff is serious. Can you hear it? Negative. The room's loaded with it. They must be planning to wipe out half of us like to Los Angeles. But here's what you need to do. Sarah and his liquid form is very volatile. It'll become harmless as soon as it oxidizes. In English? Burn it. Not a problem. I've got C4 with me. Just make sure you're well away when it blows. Kyle Reese. Stone. You traitor. When a traitor betrays a traitor, is he still a traitor? I think not. I think he's a patriot to a new cause. You're one sick, twisted bastard, Stone. Luna reporting in. I'm through the subway and at the top of the stairs. Request further instructions. Reese has been captured by the enemy. It's absolutely crucial to our mission that he be recovered alive. He's being held in the asylum building. Make your way along the street, penetrate the building, and get Reese out of there. Understood. Our scanners report unidentified signals coming from the area. Be careful, Luna. Looks like there are bogeys in there we haven't seen before. All right, como no? I love to make new friends. I'm outside the asylum. I'm going in. Reese was on the third floor when we lost him. Start there and work your way down. I can handle that, Gabriel. Leave everything to me. Once you're done, join me for the finale in Colorado. It's coming together like a symphony. We need brother behind you. Tell Connor to stop challenging fate. He sealed his with my brother. The same way you did when your botched intel walked Gabriel into a trap. That was a long time ago, Alex. Where's Reese? He's here, alive and well. For the moment, that is. Just like you. 
You're being jerked around like a puppet, Stone. The only thing that's keeping you alive is that I have a faint ray of faith that there's still some humanity left inside you. Take me to Reese, and don't give me an excuse to waste you. I thought you had faith in me. I'm losing it. Now this is the amazing machine to kill you both. Finally! Run! I'll hold him off while you get away! Like hell! My orders are to get you out of here. I'm not leaving you here alone! We're in the field. I outrank you and I'm giving you a direct order! Scram! Connor's not gonna like this. He and I can discuss this over tea later. Now get out of here!
gonna get you out of there. I'll be here. Listen up, people. You are en route to Cheyenne Mountain, once the home of NORAD, the national defense system. Thirty years ago, humanity turned control of their nuclear arsenals over to Skynet. Three weeks later, Skynet set those weapons loose on humanity. You know that as... judgment. Intelligence reports this is the least defended of all entrances to Skynet. Our three strongest battalions are staging a diversion on the other side of the mountain. They'll keep the enemy occupied long enough for your team to infiltrate the base. Target, Luna. Haul out of here until I can hack that security and fuck that permanent position. No, we can help. Negative, Reese. Connor says you're mission critical. That means you don't die. Not here, not now. General. There's turrets providing perimeter defense for the NORAD entrance. I can try to take them out, but how are we going to open that security door? The SciTech Crypto Group is working on it, but it's taking a while. These defenses are the most complex we've seen yet. Roger that. Let me know when they're ready. Prototype, huh? I'm not sure I like the sound of that. The Cytex slapped it together just before our ride out here. It's a portable EMP wave generator. Tag an ender with it, and he'll seize up. Good. I'll need an edge if I want to walk away from this hellhole alive. General Connor, I've made it inside the outer perimeter. It's odd how this still looks like humans could have used it. What did happen here? No one can say for sure. All of the principals are long dead. Nearly 30 years ago, Skynet was switched on to create a global defense system for the United States and its allies. Roughly three weeks later, the neural network supercomputer became self-aware. And they didn't do anything about it? Leaders reacted and tried to take it offline, but that only made things worse. Skynet thought they were trying to kill it. Self-preservation protocol kicked in, and a nanosecond later, Skynet calculated that human beings were the greatest threat to its existence. It launched every nuclear weapon in its control and caused Judgment Day as a wave of destruction cascaded across the Earth. NORAD was the agency in charge of the defense grid. Skynet repurposed its hardened computers deep within Cheyenne Mountain to serve as its home. That base now houses the physical component of our enemy. So it started out strong and it's just been getting stronger? Not necessarily. Just like us, it needs resources to fight. And resources are getting scarce for everybody. Are you saying we've finally worn it down after all these years? That's my hope. In any case, it'll all be over in hours. If you succeed, we win. If you fail, we lose. They finished the third code, just one more to go.
perimeter security and en route to meet you at your current location. Roger that, Luna. Hurry it up. We haven't got much time. Ah, damn. We just got jumped by a bunch of endos. We're trapped. Was Reese hit? Keep your head down. I'm on my way. Hold it. If you're in the operations room, you should be able to override a defense turret and turn it against them. Keep it clean, girl. We've got a mission to run. I do. You're such a stiff. We'll hook up with you in the next room. Looks like it's an automated factory floor of some type. Made it, General. We're nearing a secondary access tube that will take us to the upper levels. Good work, Perry. I want you and Luna to go forward and scout for Tempest One. It's marked on the schematics as Tango Delta Charlie, but the maps aren't complete. We'll find it. Nice one, Captain. Add another roller to the scrap pile. Perry, we've got to find Tempest One for Connor. Why is Reese hanging back? Those were Connor's orders. No explanation. It's like Connor is saving him for something. Clarify. I just think it's always been strange between the two of them. Nothing strange. Connor just hates to lose men. No, it's more than that. I don't know, it's like... It's like Reese was the son Connor never had. Nice explosion! I love to see wreckage pull a slow burn. Reese, do you remember the photo I gave you a few years ago? Yeah, you told me to memorize the face. She's destined to be your most crucial mission. Sounds good to me. This has serious consequences for all of us. You, me, world. Who is she? Sarah Connor. My mother. Skynet is planning to send a Terminator back through time to kill her so I'll never be born. 
I want Luna and Perry to destroy the time machine before Skynet can use it. But if they can't, you'll have to go through after the Terminator. Back in time? To 1984. Sir! Sir, you there? Sir! We're getting hammered on the assault. Find Skynet security operations and deactivate the defense plan. General, there's no way I can destroy all this hardware in time. The attack has begun. I can't call it back. Our foreign assault team is already on its way, but the Cytec unit is pinned down from heavy enemy fire. We can't afford to lose those engineers. I have an idea. Tell Crypto to isolate a mainframe from the network. I'll access the terminal here and use Skynet's own weapons against it. Good. Take over its perimeter defense guns. You got it. Any news from Perry or Luna? I'm getting pretty anxious here. I feel like I'm standing inside something that's alive, watching me. Luna found the fusion reactor, but we can't take it offline until we know if the Terminator has gone back. She's got to get out of there, so you'll have to rig it with explosives yourself. If the Terminator has gone through, follow him, and we'll blow the reactor after you leave. I don't have any C4. We'll get you some. Luna dumped a pile of C4 fitted with special detonators. If I need to go to 1984, I won't be coming home, will I? I'm sorry, Kyle. It's a one-way trip. You know what's gonna happen to me back there, don't you? Do you want me to tell you? No! Just have Crypto download the next set of crack codes. I'm heading to the reactor now. Captain, this looks like platinum. There are tons of it suspended in tanks along with some other metal material. It's the platinum the Indos were taking from the Federal Reserve. When Luna ran sensor checks earlier, she said the platinum is paired up with the palladium, and the tanks are filled with heavy water. Sounds like Skynet perfected cold fusion. What sort of power does it put out? 
Enough for Skynet to run itself for centuries. Not after we get done. I'll place enough charges to blow this entire thing to hell and back. I'll leave it to you guys to trigger the remote fuses once we're all clear. That power plant is made to be durable. The only way to get the job done for sure is to place the C4 inside the four reaction tanks. By too late. Does that mean Skynet just sent a Terminator back to 1984? Connor said it might happen this way. That was an infiltrator, wasn't it? Looked like the same model that attacked us in Los Angeles. Ah, that's really why Skynet created infiltrators. Fake skin makes it easier to get into our facilities, but that was just a test run over the last year. Now the skin wraps the machine to let it travel through time. Travel back 30 years to kill Connor's mother? That's a pretty desperate chance to take. Sure it's desperate. Skynet thinks we're about to win the war, and now it's changed the battlefield. Luna, you go over there and check out that control board. You've got five minutes to figure out how it works. I'm going down the gantry to secure the launch platform. Reese, stay here and cover our flank until I signal you to come forward. Reese, it's up to you to shut down these biofilters somehow. Take a look around and see if you can find a generator. Take our gear. We won't be using it behind these things.
police must have succeeded. If he'd failed, this would all be different now. How would we know? I mean, if he changes the past, won't we remember it that way? Not as the way it was before it changed? You! Ah! Luna! What's the point of stabbing someone in the back if they never know who hit him? You're dead, Stone! If I was Luna, I would have chopped you personally in L.A. Hey, what can I say? Faith makes you stone-cold stupid. Yeah, and it's gonna make you stone-cold dead. Luna, Perry, evacuate now. Repeat now! The charges are going off in 60 seconds! What's it gonna be, Perry? Chase me? She bleeds to death. Get her to a medic? I escape. Life's full of tough choices, ain't it? And you just made the toughest one. Next time we meet, you're gonna beg me to let you die. I'll take her from here, Captain Perry. Is it really over, General? We won a battle, Perry. And today we celebrate our victory, mourn our dead, and our departed. Tomorrow, we suit up again. Perfectly. Our enemies have crippled each other.